Okay, good. I say good afternoon. It's funny. I'm in filming in the afternoon, but it's for tomorrow morning. So good morning for Thursday, the 2nd of April. And uh, here comes your workout for this morning. So as you can see, we are not in the in the gym anymore. We are now at home. We're doing our home workouts out, home workouts at home. So we are out uh, and about, and uh, we're going to go through the workout for tomorrow. So for for this morning, I should say. So what we got first is we have we got a 20 meter bear crawl. So we're doing bear crawls, arms and legs on the bear crawl. From the 20 meter bear crawl, we're going to do 45 object jumps. So we're jumping over some kind of an object. All right, we have 45, a 45 second handstand hold. After the 45 second handstand hold, we've got 45 push-ups. After the 45 push-ups, we've got 45 jump to touch. So we'll be jumping up, touching something up overhead in an overhead position, and we're working for 30 minutes. It's an AMRAP, so as many reps or as many rounds as possible in 30 minutes. So, first off, looking at that, it looks quite intense. It looks like a, it looks like a lot of repetitions and it looks like a long time. We will be going through scaling options. Scaling means we're going to scale the movements down, scale the repetitions down, scale the total amount of time down, so it makes it doable for everybody. Okay, so if you fitter and stronger, we're going to do the slightly higher volume version and the longer time version. If you are less fit and strong, we're going to scale you down, give you slightly less reps for each movement, and we're going to make the reps or the movement slightly easier for you as well. Okay. So to start off with, we are going to start with a 20 meter bear crawl. So the 20 meter bear crawl, instead of doing a 20 meter bear crawl, we can also do, we're going to do five inch worms. So I'll show you the five inch worms first, then we'll go through the 20 meter bear crawl. So five inch worms are going to look like this. All right, and so we're going to start, start with the part. You know, bend your knees as much as you need to bend your knees to get your hands towards the floor. Oh, inch worm is going to walk forward. Oh, if you're strong enough, you can do a knees to floor, chest to floor, you're going to push back up, you're going to push back through the shoulders first, and you're going to walk your hands back up towards your feet, and you're going to stand up. That's one repetition. And you're doing five repetitions, walking forward, knees to floor, chest to floor, pushing back up, push back through the shoulders, and stand two. If the push-up is too much for you as you go forward in the inchworm, don't worry about the push-up part. Just walk forward. Oh, that may be enough. Oh, body nice and straight. Make sure there's not too much work in the lower back. Keep the hips up nice and high. Walk back forward. E, touch, and stand. So that's your inchworm. So instead of doing 20 meter bear crawl, you've got your five inchworms. If you're doing a bear crawl, what you're looking for on the bear crawl, bear crawls will look like this. Hands to floor, and you're going to keep your arms and knees bent and you're walking forward, you're going to go for about 10 meters going forward and you're going back, uh, 10 meters going back and stand. So if you're good with your shoulders and your shoulders are okay in that overhead position and the pushing position, then you're fine to do with the bear crawl, you can do that. Okay, so that's going to be your inchworms and your bear crawls. Next one, you've got a 45 object jumps. So the bigger the object, the more demanding the jump is going to be. The smaller the object, the less demanding. So, if you're a little bit fitter, you can find a box or a crate to jump over. Just have a quick look. What I've got over here is we've got a crate. So you could do a crate jump, you know, jump over, jump over. That could be your object jump. If you want to go for something smaller or something big, you can do the same thing. You could do a broomstick. You can do a a broomstick uh, on the floor, you can jump over a broomstick, or you can just have a line in the floor. You're doing a jump, and a jump, and a jump. All right? If you're a little bit fitter and stronger, you can do 45 object jumps, or you can either choose to do 10 object jumps, even just a little jump. You would even just do a little skip over the side, or you can do 20 object jumps. 45 second handstand hold. So, handstand hold, I'm going to go through your hands and hold for you quickly. It's going to look like this. Make sure this doesn't all fall out. All right, so hands and hold. I'm going to do it up against the wall. So arms are going to lock out straight. I'm going to kick up. Hop. Arms locking up. Hips locking up. Make sure your bum's not against the wall. And you're going to hold in that hands and position. Legs come back down. And you're going to stand. Haven't done that, one of those before in the last few days. So that's going to be your hands and hold. If you're good with the hands and hold, do that. Your option otherwise is to do a pushback on the wall. So you're going to start in a push-up position. You're going to push back. 
push back and then walk your feet up maybe as far as you're comfortable. That may be enough, pushing back through your arms. What I don't want to see is you in this push-up position here. You have to push back through the shoulders, reach those arms into an overhead position, you're going to hold. Walk back down, stand. Your other option instead of doing your feet up on the wall is just to do a push back. So similar to an inchworm, you're going to walk forward and then from there, keeping your feet on the floor, you're going to push your bum back as far as you can and you're going to hold, keep pushing back through the arms and you're going to hold, hold, hold and then come back forward. So that's your another option, okay? What it does is it strengthens that shoulder girdle in that overhead position. If you can do 45 seconds, do 45 seconds. If you need to scale it down, cut it down to 30 seconds, cut it down to 15 seconds, maybe even 10 seconds. Depends on how strong your shoulders are, depends on how long you'll be able to hold that overhead position. From the handstand holds, we're going into push-ups. 45 push-ups. So now 45 push-ups by itself is a lot. All right. So again, I don't expect you to be able to do the 45 seconds unbroken or the 45 push-ups unbroken, you may need to do 20, then you do 10, then you do another 10, then you do 5, or you may do 10, shake out the arms, 10, shake out the arms, 10, shake out the arms, 10, shake out 5, or what we need to do, if 45 is too much for you, scale it down, start with 5, right? or do 10 push-ups, or do 20 push-ups for the workout. Um, I don't want you to get to a point too much, particularly if you're doing this for the first time or you're new to this, that you do so many that your arms and chest and shoulders are sore the next, next day. Rather do slightly less and then you'll see how you feel the next day. Okay, that's the push-ups. Next one, foot uh, jumps to touch. So what we're looking for is to try and get as much work in a jumping position and reaching out to an overhead position. So you need to find either a mark on a wall, uh, depending on how tall you are, you can try and find something against the garage door. So you're just sitting like this, you're going to be jumping, touching the garage door, or what you're doing is you're trying to jump and reach up as far as you can. Okay, if you can find a tree or a branch or something that a garden that you can reach to touch, we can use a jump to touch as well. Okay, the jump to touches are going to be quite, quite demanding. So again, make sure you're scaling those down. Okay, we're going to do uh, 10, ju 10 jump to touches or 20 jump to touches for that one round. And then 30 minute MRAP. So if you are good for your, th or good for your 30 minutes, you can go for 30 minutes. If you need to cut that down to 20 minutes, scale it down to 20. If you need to scale it down to 10 minutes, scale it down to 10 minutes. And what we're doing is this 20 meter bear crawl or the five inch worms or the 45 object jumps or scaling it down to 20 or 10, the 45 handstand holds or the pushbacks or the wall holds, the 45 push-ups or the 20 or the 10 or the five push-ups, the 45 jump to touches, the 20 or the 10, that's one round. And then we're trying to do as many rounds of this here as we can in however much time you give yourself in the workout. Okay, so that's the workout for today, Thursday the 2nd of April. Uh, if you guys need a little bit more briefing for the warm-up briefing, then stick with us. I'm going to take you through the warm-ups. Okay, guys. Are you ready for the warm-up? So, the warm-up shouldn't should take us anything between 5 and 10 minutes. What we're looking for the warm-up, we're going to do the 5 inchworms and push-ups. So, I've already shown you the inchworm. What we're going to do is we're going to do walk forward onto the hands, do one push-up, walk back up. That's one inchworm. Then you're going to go walk forward, hands back down to the floor, walk forward into one push-up, walk back up, stand back up. That's two inchworms. All right, so that's going to be our inchworms and push-ups. You're going to do five of those. Then we're going to do five, ten, ten, five or ten air squats to squat jump. So it's going to look like this. So what you're doing is a squat to jump. What you're doing is you're going to have a nice little squat. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. All right, from there, we're going to squat back, squat, and you're going to stand, jump, jumping jack. Feet shoulder width but back apart again. Squat, jumping jack, squat, jumping jack, squat, jumping jack. What you need to be aware of is because you're changing your foot position with a jumping jack is that every, every time you bring your feet back to the correct position for your air squat. Okay? Otherwise, rather do five air squats, five jumping jacks, five air squats, five, five jumping jacks. Then what we're looking for is we're going to do half handstand holds. So half handstand hold I'm going to show you, otherwise the pushback. I'll show you the pushback first, then I'll show you a handstand hold. This is in preparation for the rest of the warm-up. So pushback, which we've done already, is going to look like this. You're going to walk forward, and you're going to push back, and you're going to bring yourself back into push-up position. And you're going to push back, back into push-up position. Push back to the shoulders, push back into the position. That's going to be your pushbacks. Your handstand 
holding look something like this and do it on the grass just in case my mic falls out you know hold there we're just gonna do half a handstand so from there kick feet together and back down let me try again kick feet together and back down so it's just a half handstand it's not a long handstand you're trying to hold it it's just enough time lock out through the arms get a nice strong midline make the shoulder girdles nice and warm that's going to be your handstands or your half handstands and the last one's going to be a 10 meter bear crawl all right so if you can do the bear crawl that i showed you you can do the bear crawl going backs and forwards otherwise just hold that bear crawl position so on that same position you're going to hold it there and you're just going to walk left and right knees on the floor if this is too much for the shoulders okay you can walk left and right in the hands you can even just do the legs in the bear crawl and it just holds you get you strong in this position here that's going to be your bear crawls so you can choose i would recommend doing at least five to ten minutes of the warm-up the, the more time you spend getting your heart rate up getting your shoulders prepared getting your body prepared for the workout the better your workout is because you're warmed up properly five inch worms five to ten air squats with jumping jacks half handstand holds five of those or five pushbacks 10 meter bear crawl do two or three rounds of that okay to get you nice and warm then your workout prep okay or the movements that you needed to produce or to perform the workout i want you to do between five and seven repetitions of each movement so do the bear crawls you've probably already done you're okay object jumps do five or seven object jumps jumping over make sure you warm for the jumping hands and holds just give yourself a little hands and hold if you're doing that if you're doing a wall hold practice your wall hold for five or ten seconds push-ups give yourself five or seven push-ups jump to touch give yourself five to seven jump, jump to touches that should get you nice and warm right and then set your clock set it for your time 10 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes start the clock three two one go and enjoy the workout all right guys so that's uh i think everything you need for today have fun if you need to take take it slower take a little bit slower to enjoy the workout if you really want to push yourself this is a really great one that you can push yourself that little bit longer in the time domain the time domain the longer time domain is going to increase the intensity the higher repetition volume on this side is going to increase the in, in, the in intensity if you need to do less do less but have fun and enjoy it and we'll see you guys tomorrow